Hey, how's it going? You got time for a beer? I know I do. It's Thursday, um, so got time for a beer. Welcome to my show. Uh, my name's Jake. You can find this at Untapped YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram, all at to Jake underscore 69. Uh, today, I am drinking Fruitwood from Founders. Cherry Ale aged in maple syrup, bourbon barrels. So maple syrup and bourbon barrels, like maple syrup was aged in them and bourbon was aged in them. Um, and then this, so it's a light, I like cherry ale and um, and aged in bourbon barrels. So you'd think it's gonna kick you right in the teeth, uh, but it's only like 8%. So, I mean, it's a sessionable barrel aged beer, which is weird to me, but you know, perfectly fine. Um, so I'll see you Instagram people later because I'm pretty sure this is where they cut you off. All right, let's get this thing open. So it's, like I said, it's uh, it's supposed to be light, but then also barrel aged. So that usually tends to make it a little bit darker. Um, the maple syrup should make it sweeter. Look at that. Nice light color. With it being cherry, I'd expect a little bit of a red tinge to it. I don't know if tinge is the right word because I, I think of that as having negative connotations. So, um, tint, a reddish tint, um, maybe, but everything in here is like a reddish tint, yellowish tint. So it could be that, but maybe not. Okay, so should be should be real good because it sounds like it's going to be real good and it's almost like what I like but not quite um the eight percent's a little bit high for what I usually like but then also it's not too bad for a bourbon barrel aged beer it smells like bourbon so there's that Tastes like cherries. Like, a lot like cherries. Like, super duper like cherries. It's, it's a little bit sour even, like cherries. It's pretty good. Now, like I said, 8%. So, so far as a, uh, as a bourbon barrel aged beer goes, this is sessionable, but it's still 8%. And like three of them will still knock you right on your butt. Yeah, three. Mm. I think the barrel aging mellows out the... Mm. Maybe it's the barrel aging, maybe it's the maple syrup that mellows out the, the flavor. Like the, the harshness that you usually get from the bourbon. It's really good. Um, what does this remind me of? Um, I don't know, a cherry sour, probably something along those lines. I had a, uh, a Saint Cherry today from uh, Bikes, I think. Um, that tastes like Morrissey cherries, so it's a sweet cherry, and it's sweet. I was kind of expecting it to be sour when I first got it, but it's not quite. Still a lot of water running through my basement, which is fine because it's not running through like the middle of my basement. So that's good. Uh, just keep drinking this. Does this remind me of a story? Yes. Yes, it does. Um. So... Went to the uh, World Expo of Beer. It's in Frankenmuth. Um, they have lots of different beers there and lots of different vendors. It's a ton of fun. Uh, it's usually in about May, if you can, like beginning of May, if I remember right. So if you can go, go, because it's a blast. Um, but the um, 
this this beard is mostly what what reminds me of it um at the sam adams booth they had they had cherry wheat sam adams cherry wheat and they were handing out like um hershey's kisses to go with the cherry wheat so you eat the chocolate kiss and you drink the beer It tastes like a chocolate covered cherry, which is nice. I mean, I just had some chocolate covered cherries upstairs, but that's not making me taste this any differently. Just that there's more chocolate in my mouth than normal, and it's making this taste better, I think, because chocolate covered cherries are delicious. And this is pretty good. Um, so there's there's that part of it, but then also. Um, I took my dad and dad normally talks to everybody, but if you get a couple of drinks in him, then he doesn't stop talking to everybody. So he's off talking with people. I had to use the restroom. So I go in, I'm looking for him as I come out, looking for him, looking for him. I'm like, well, I don't see him. So he calls me because text wasn't working there because the reception, it's, it's in Frankenwood. It's in the middle of a field, more or less. Um, it's in a park and there's a big barn kind of thing there, but it's in the middle of a field. So he calls me because that works better than texting at this point. Um, he's like, where are you? I'm like, I, I mean, we're in the middle of a barn. How do you how do you explain to somebody where you are in the middle of a barn? There are people everywhere, and I'm not very tall. Uh, but the guy that was standing next to me was. I was like, I'm next to the tall guy with dark hair. He's like the tall guy. And he's like, oh, there you are. Because this guy, well, come to find out, uh, Dad, because Dad asked. So I'm standing there waiting around for him to get over there. He gets over there and he's like, that guy is really tall. I didn't realize how tall he was because, you know, talks a lot when he's been drinking. And so he asked the guy, wow. Well, I mean, first he, you know, sort of introduces himself. Wow, you're really tall. How tall are you? You've got to be at least seven foot, right? And the guy says in a thick uh, Eastern European accent, 6'10". So the dude's 6'10". That's really tall. I don't know if you know or not, but 6'10", tall. Especially compared to me. It's more than a foot taller than me. More than a foot taller than me. We'll go with that. But, yeah. Dude was really tall. So Dad talked to this guy for a little bit. Um... Found out where he's from, but I don't remember because I was drinking and there were people everywhere. And I was trying to decide what to have next. Because, you know, you get the little cups and you drink as many as you can. Well, I mean, like, you, they refill your cup because you get the little cup. And you go around and you give them your tickets and then they refill, they fill your cup and you drink from the cup. And it's delicious. And a lot of fun. I haven't been in a few years, and it's a lot of fun. I miss going. But yeah, good times. Good times. Both times I went. <sighs> Got a new follower on YouTube, which is awesome. Um, guy named Jim Rudd. He's from Michigan here. And he wants me to, uh, to have the Nut of Your Business, or do a review on the Nut of Your Business peanut butter stout from uh, Grand Armory in Grand Haven. And I'm going to have to find it again. But I've had it before. And it's delicious. Um, odd thing is, it reminds me a lot of a... Um, of of a, uh, a Butterfinger. Because there's like a caramely flavor to the peanut butter. So it's kind of like a, a peanut brittle kind of thing. But, you know, it's a stout. So it's kind of chocolatey. It's really good. I like it a lot. But... Um, I don't have it here now. If I did, I'd be doing a review on that, because he asked. 
Uh, but just a short little thing there of what I remember from it. But I do remember it being being very good. Very good. Um, let's see what else. I mean, you guys can tell me your stories, too. I'll tell it to other people, because other people's stories are fun to tell. I mean, I tell stories on my dad all the time. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but I wish I would have shut that door. So pup keeps running, but I mean, it's been wet here in Michigan. And now it's snowy, even better. About three, about three inches since all the snow melted. All right, delicious. Went down really fast. It'd be really good with chocolate. Just saying. Um, I have a quote for you. Uh, this one is from John McEnroe, tennis superstar. Uh, famous for losing matches and saying the F word a lot. Uh, he said, the important thing is to learn a lesson every time you lose. I mean, really, it's not that he's famous for losing matches, just saying the F word when he loses matches or gets a, a thing called against him, a point called against him. But pretty cool dude overall. Um, and he's right. It is important for you to learn from whatever it is that you do. Every time you lose, you learn a lesson. And hopefully you remember what the lesson is. All right. Well, that's about all I've got. Don't forget, you can find me at tubajake underscore 69 on untapped YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, Twitter, yeah, those ones. Um, tell me your stories. I love to hear them. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. You got time for a beer. <laughs>